What's up, YouTube? It's 10.37 at night. Uh, the Twilight Sword is over. I'm, I'm obviously going home. Uh, it went pretty fast. This is week five, the beginning of week five. It's Tuesday, so it's like the er early in the week on week five. Uh, the first month went by very quickly, the first 30 days as a package handler. It's not that hard. The first week, you, your body gets a little sore, but you adjust. It's not that hard. Uh, I worked today on four different lines. When I say lines, I mean lines of uh, package trucks that are parked. So, how does that translate? Basically, what goes on is that... Um, I gotta catch this gate. Right. <laughs> so basically what goes on is supervisors will move you around as they need live hardworking bodies to help unload these uh, different lines. Okay. If there's a line that's missing one or two employees for different reasons, vacation day, sick day, or whatever they're short staffed they will move you around so you got to be prepared for that especially after you've been there for a month because they feel like you've kind of got stuff uh you're, you're getting the hang of it you've been there a month like i didn't miss any days for the first 30 days i was there every day on time like i said that's like a miniature probation those first 30 days like a little mini probation but ultimately your probation lasts um, 70 days. And that's once you've passed 70 days of working, you are now a union fully fledged employee with all the union benefit protections um, you know, that you are supposed to get as a union employee. So, all that being said, you basically, you, you, um, you're learning as you go. A lot of it is learn. You get that first week of training is fast. It, you, you learn how to load a truck, unload a truck. You learn some safety stuff, how to pick up boxes. Um, they teach you the UPS way to do stuff, right? For one week. After that, you really learn a lot as you go because there's a lot more to learn than what you can learn in just that first week. You get evaluated every week uh, by a supervisor. He's going to come into your trailer and take five minutes or ten minutes out of your time and go, how are you feeling? Uh, are you drinking water? He's going to question you. What are the safety procedures? How do you handle hazardous materials? What do you do in this situation? How do you exit the building if there's an emergency? Where would you go? Area two, area three, um, whatever. So they question you to make sure you're competently doing things the way they want them done. That's the supervisor. That's really their job there is to enforce safety and kind of make sure the sort's going smoothly. That's really, that's really probably 75% of what their job is to enforce safety and make sure the sort is going smoothly. They're not there to yell at you or belittle you and yell at you and threaten you. If you're late a whole bunch of times, I'm sure you'll, you'll probably get a warning and a write-up, but just don't be late, <laughs> you know. Uh, so to take care of that. That's on you. Um, there's a lot of job opportunities. with it. Once you're a package handler, you can do other stuff. So if you're there six months, a year, there's all kinds of different jobs within the hub. I see guys driving around in these little robot cars. There's guys... Uh, inspecting packages there's like today I was doing bulk I was handling all the bulk packages they had they trained me to do that so I was the bulk guy today there's usually one guy that does bulk and it's really an easy job you just wait for all the bulk packages to come and you take them off the line and you put them on a bulk cart and the bulk cart driver drives them off to do whatever super easy so I got to do that for a little little while uh, Gosh, there's always new people. Every week I see new people, so they're always hiring. You're, it's a sweat box. You're sweating, but it's only four and a half hours of your life. It's easy. So when I'm in there, I'm sweating, I'm sweating, I'm sweating, but I'm having fun too. Your coworkers are usually pretty cool because they're doing the same thing you're doing, so they're sweating and moving and grooving, and you can communicate with them because they're like in the 
in the truck next to you, left to right. And I'm doing trucks now, which is the package trucks, the brown package trucks. They got me doing that versus the big 18 wheeler trailers and some other stuff. Um, I can do whatever, like wherever they send me, I just go. It's all part of the experience and it's cool. I like it. It's a great place to work. There's a lot of benefits, the medical, the dental, the vision. Now, as far as the rumors coming down about raises, yeah, I keep hearing about it. I don't know much because they won't say anything. I haven't heard anything. The supervisors don't know much, but there is talk that there may be some raises coming down. I don't know when, like next month or next year. I don't know. But I do hear that people who are getting hired now as package handlers in other states, I'm in California, in other states are starting off at seventeen fifty an hour. I've heard 18 an hour, different kinds of rates like that, which sounds good. But California has a high cost of living, so maybe the union needs to <laughs> speed that up. Because right now, currently, from what I know, I started at fourteen fifty. that the current package handler starting rate in Southern California is $14.50 an hour, which is pretty low so I don't know if that's going to go up I'm hoping it is but like I said I've talked to one of the guys one of the viewers on YouTube uh lives in Georgia and he's he posted a text a comment said he started at 1750 and he's just getting into it so he's going to be a package handler he was hired as a package handler so good, good good job there for that guy in Georgia um some other people said that they also had different start rates uh, of pay in other cities in other states other than where i'm at in california but again california has a high cost of living so it wouldn't surprise me to hear something maybe through the union or in the emails or something about something about a raise which i would welcome now i work a day job i just wanted to take five minutes of my time to post this saying i'm in week five it's going well i like it um, I do plan on staying there and on my day job I'll be there for a couple more months three more months because my goal there is to save up a lot of money get some good work experience doing custom fabrications and stuff like that so I am learning some stuff there and it's cool it's a production type thing where you produce uh, you ship stuff out we're receiving stuff shipping stuff out inspecting stuff and it's custom glass we're building shower doors and shipping them all over the place and it's tedious it's hard work uh, it's like nine, ten hour days. Pays okay. It's eighteen bucks an hour. Um, it's it's a good company. It's nothing wrong with it. I just don't see myself being there for more than three more months, four more months. It's just the way it is. But UPS, yeah, for sure. All right. So let me know what you guys think. Questions, comments. Like I said, this is the kind of early part of the week. It's Tuesday of my fifth week. I have lost weight. I don't know what my weight was when I started because I didn't jump on the scale. I go by what I look in the mirror and I, I know me and how I look when I start losing weight. It I lose it in my face first, then my body. So I'm losing weight because I can see it in my face and then the rest of my body follows along. Um, so I'm getting healthier in that way, drinking a lot of water. Drinking, I'm drinking water all the time. So it does help, it clears up your skin and all that, you drink a lot of water. And you're sweating out a lot of impurities and you're just get, getting in shape, man. It's really good for you. There's girls in there, guys in there, older people, younger people, Hispanic, white, black, Asian. UPS is very, very multicultural in that way and it's cool. Uh, I don't know. I can't think of anything other than I just got off work and I'm going to go take a shower. Uh, what do I wear? Comfortable clothing, t-shirts, shorts. I wear uh, steel toe boots, leather. They're thicker. You wear what you want, but I, I'm always in about safety. So let me get my butt upstairs and take a shower. All right, so Staff Sergeant Calhoun from an undisclosed location just got off work at the La Mirada Hub in UPS. Package handler, twilight sort. Take the job and don't quit. Staff Sergeant Calhoun out.